Warning, the following podcast is a shit show, and the individuals you are about to meet are idiots. Their opinions, anecdotes, and advice contain zero nutritional value. This is the critical human condition and all of its strangeness. This is life, according to an idiot. Hello, and welcome back. Hey, everybody. For another mini-sode. Whoa. We're happy to have you. And if you are new to the podcast, hi, this ain't a full. No. This ain't a full episode. This is a mini-episode where we we cut all the babble, we cut all the the chit-chat, and we just get straight into a topic and we talk about that because some of y'all hate us, you know, and we get it. So we're just here to give you some information and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Going dry and hope that everything works out. You've prepped, you're ready, <laughs> and we're ready to give. I'm Jeremy. I am Mo giving. Oh. Today, I am going to be talking about the Fresno Night Walkers. I thought they were night crawlers. Yes, they are. <laughs> Fresno Nightcrawlers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, Jeremy, how much do you know about the Fresno Nightcrawlers? I know that they look like walking pants. Yeah. Walking pants. Hell yeah, they do. <laughs> Tell me they aren't. I can't. So, the Fresno Nightcrawlers are also known as the Fresno Alien or Haunted Ghost Pants, <gasps> which I think is so fun. As a little background, these were first caught on camera in 2007. Why did I say like that? Seven. In 2007. And yes, you guessed it. Fresno. Where is Fresno? I don't know, but it's a city in California, right? Yeah, California, I think. Fresno, California. Most of. You did research on this and you don't know where it takes place? I don't remember. It just said Fresno. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good to me. This is Fresno, California. Located midway between San Francisco and Los Angeles, it is a trading center for the fertile San Joaquin Valley. It is a center of influence for nearly one million people. It was spotted in 2007 by a resident named Jose. His dogs were barking and causing a ruckus at night. And this was obviously very disturbing for his nice little sleep. And also, he wanted to know what the fuck was going on. Were people trying to burgle? Were some kids trespassing? You know, were they some weird animals? In order to find out more, he set up security cameras on his garage. When his dogs were barking one night, he decides to review the footage the next day, and he didn't find any wild animals or intruders, but what he did get was grainy footage of a walking pair of white pants that go across (laughs) his yard. (laughs) So... Confused as fuck, Jose (laughs) shares the footage, hoping to find an explanation, as he was terrified of what he saw. He had no idea what he was looking at. No one was able to identify what was going on, which freaked him out even more. So he eventually shared the footage with Univision and a paranormal investigator named Victor Camacho. And he was the host of a Spanish supernatural show called Los... Desvalados, Los Desvalados, the sleepless one, is what it is in English, and that's the language I know. Also, just to set the stage, this is 2007. The number one song on the radio is Umbrella by Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Does that throw you back or what? Also, Paralyzer by Finger Eleven. Remember that song? I feel so alive. I seem to be struck by you. Does that make you move? Because you won't stand in still. That was my first ringtone on my flip phone. Oh, wow. I was in seventh grade. Did you buy it from one of those like commercials? (laughs) Oh, the ringtone? Yeah. Oh, the ringtone. That that was like an official Verizon purchase. Oh. You open like the Verizon store on on your little phone. It was just a different world. That's so crazy to think about yeah it really was i do remember that at the time that i got that flip phone i think there were smarter phones like it was, <laughs> there was i had like, the dumb bitch phone <laughs> it's like on the way to a smartphone mm-hmm. yeah i had one of those too and it like slid too yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it was like yeah. a sliding to the keyboard and like a touch yep. screen so the one that i had didn't have a keyboard on it that's how old it was how shitty it was at least nice and i remember at the time being like this is almost unusable mm-hmm. this is really just for calling my mom when i don't have a ride home from school <laughs> 
But that's the era that we're talking about here. Back when the the squeegee, not the squeegee, what was it? The chamois. Shamwow, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I'm glad you knew. Shamwow. (laughs) (laughs) When that fucker was all over the TV. Yeah. Jerry Springer was like the hot thing to watch. MTV. TRL. Anyways. um, No, no, no. Don't don't stop. Don't stop. TRL. What else? (laughs) (laughs) Ashton Kutcher. Oh, punk. Yeah, punk. Punk was the shit. Punk was the thing. Silent Library. Silent Library. Oh, my God. Oh, and the America's Extreme Home Makeover. Yes. (laughs) Bus driver, move that That bus. bus. I want to rewatch that, actually. Yeah. Those homes are fucking ass. Anyways. Anyways, let's talk about some haunted pants. So... (laughs) Jose, terrified and confused, sent the footage to Univision and the Sleepless One Spanish Supernatural show. So they called this person that took the video. And finally, I have the chance to talk to him. He was really nervous. He was scared. So he told me that Sunday night, he just wake up because the dogs start barking and said, well, somebody tried to steal something from the front yard because it happened before. That's why they put the cameras. Uh, when he just wake up, he looked to the monitor and he starts seeing this creature over here. But the more amazing thing is that second beam. Uh, you can see the big difference from the first one. But this is really amazing. I don't know where they are. I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, I don't know. Neither of them were able to explain what the fuck it was. And paranormal investigators love making shit up to make it seem like they know what they're talking about because they have a a tv show to run exactly so him not knowing red flag in 2011 fast forwarding a bit security cameras in yosemite surfaced that captured a similar creature or garment (laughs) (laughs) which is scarier i don't know (laughs) i don't know it's like those little like worm things that you saw those performers use in the mall when it made it look like they were alive. Oh my god! On the string. Yeah. It's like that. I bought those in so many souvenir shops. Every anytime we went to Florida, I would buy one of those things, and mm-hmm. I would always break it or leave it in the hotel before we left. This is like the the haunted version of that, maybe. But that was a worm, and these are pants. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. That's what I'm saying. Brilliant. <laughs> Such a. <laughs> This is so chaotic already. Mm -hmm. Anyways. It's like handworm, but it's pants. (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad y'all are understanding my references. So Yosemite was trying to capture trespassers damaging property. So is it upsetting or fortuitous that they caught garments walking by themselves instead? Who knows? They didn't find any humans on the footage. And something else of note for these sightings was that they always travel in pairs which is a little funny because they're pants. Pa- pairs of pants. One is usually smaller than the other one. Like it's a child of some sort, or maybe Aww. it's like a different sex, you know? Maybe like the male, you know how like in, in, in like the wild, sometimes the males are smaller than the females? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like spiders. Spiders. It's like, the, like the, yeah, 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 spiders. They're they're like spider. Like... Spider handworm pants. It's all yeah, connected. Yeah, it's all coming together. It makes sense to me. There was another possible sighting in 2004 in Indiana. So we're going back. Yeah, we're going we're going back in time. So the two major sightings were the one the original in Fresno and the one in Yosemite, so both in California. Some other sightings that are not as well known but still like part of the the world of the night walk night crawlers. I keep on saying night walkers. Yeah. Of the night crawlers, there was another one in 2004. A 17-year-old motorist saw a disjointed, thin, and odd creature with long legs that was over six feet tall. Whoa. A second car passed with two elderly passengers who agreed on seeing the creature. All three agreed that it was not human. Ah. Whoa. You know what's also interesting is that in 2004, the number one top single was Yeah by Usher. (laughs) Oh my God. It's all connected. It all makes sense. It's all coming together. There was another sighting more recently in 2020 of a man in Poland claiming that he saw some pants. Fantastic. As well. And again, the top song of 2020 was Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. I don't even know if I know what that one sounds like. (laughs) I'm just Googling the top songs (laughs) to be sure you've mentioned. 
So according to all these sightings, generally the appearance is that the creature looks like a pair of pants, right? We already knew that. Yes. That move on their own. They are 90% legs. Oh, that's my dream woman right there. <laughs> The sightings state that it's around four feet tall. They have two small eyes and they're pale. They appear to be wearing clothes. <laughs> the area around their legs flap like it's some sort of fabric. This is all this is all true. I love that detail. They appear to be wearing clothes. Like pants. pants. And they <laughs> flap in the wind like pants. Like pants do. <laughs> and they're roughly the height of a pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> I am begging you, Jeremy, to include images of what these look like, and I'm sure that you will. But also, if you're listening to this, please go fucking look up Fresno Nightcrawlers because they are hilarious. So some theories. Some speculate that it's some type of extraterrestrial, like it's some alien. Experts state, I don't know what experts, but experts, blanket term, mm -hmm. state that they are too small and move too awkwardly to be human. I can agree with that. Well, you know what? Come on. Have you seen people? That's true. Have you seen me walk? They're <laughs> awkward. They're short. They crawl. <laughs> it's fair. They also don't interfere with humans. Out of all the sightings and the stories, they never fuck with humans. They never really interact with them at all. So many question, why are they here? What are they doing if they're not fucking with us? What purpose could they possibly have if it's not you know, surrounding our existence. Some state that they observe human life, but they have never been observed with a UFO. So they don't know if they're connected. Hmm. Another theory is that they are undead human spirits. Another theory is that they are mutant humans. Yeah. Just all leg. The ideal evolution. <laughs> the ideal evolution. My personal theory is that it's part of the Tsukumogami Tsukumogami, which if you remember, I think that we talked about it in the yokai episode, is... The unreleased yokai episode. Oh, we didn't release it? I, I think I'm going to try to put that up on Patreon. That was like three years ago. We never put it up. Oh, okay. Well, me and Jeremy recorded a yokai episode. A yokai is like spirits and demons out of Japanese, Japanese yeah, yeah, folklore. folklore. So there is <laughs> a blanket term for... Spirits that inhabit objects, like inanimate objects. So they have one for like brooms right. or sandals. Yes. So these would be like a possessed pair of pants. Oh, I like that. That would be a, a yokai. Yokai are really weird like that. Mm hmm. I like that idea. It also has links, interestingly, to Native American legends. Some people have spotted totems who have a very similar creature. According to tribe members near Fresno, Nightcrawlers are creatures that have always lived on Earth, even before humans. They have long legs that let them move through boggy landscapes as they are swamp beings. And legend says that the beings are part of our world now to rebuild connection between humans and our natural surroundings as a sort of peace bringer. Hmm. Which is like a nice idea, but it's also fucking hilarious. Yeah. Because can you imagine like anyone taking that seriously? Like a pair of pants walk up to you and they're like, hello, I'm trying to teach you how to take care of our mother Earth here. You're literally a pair of pants. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to fucking listen to you. Look at You're you. One of the most disappointing reveals of all time. <laughs> That's why the government hasn't told us about aliens because they just look dumb as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh shit, this isn't marketable at all. <laughs> and the last theory, maybe the most common, depending on your personality type, is that it's just a bizarre hoax. Hmm, it's impossible. No way. No. I remember people talk about it could have been like pants on a clothesline. I'm glad you mentioned that because some people have gone to great lengths to figure out if this is a hoax. Yeah. Is it faked? Well, YouTuber Captain Disillusion I love him. claims it could have been, but he doesn't really know. Hmm. Interesting. People with more expertise, the sci-fi show Fact or Faked, tried to recreate it and deemed it impossible to be a hoax. So it has to be real. A bold opinion yeah. uh, from them. Impossible. And the website Ranker concluded mm -hmm. that faking it would also be very difficult, if not impossible. But again, not impossible. It was, they said impossible. I know it has to, so it has to be something. And you, I'm going to look up the footage of this because I know it, it, they do move very hauntingly. Yeah, they do move very strangely. Almost like 
a pair of pants. Almost like no, I'm not. They do. They, it's like um, <laughs> like seventies kind of like airy bell bottoms. Yeah. Kind of like they kind of flap in the wind. If you if you were to walk on stilts, okay, no, erase everything I just said. The guys at carnivals on stilts, mm -hmm. they have those big swooshy pants that are super long that hide the stilts. It looks just like those without the guy on top. The one I'm looking at right now. You always know you're on like conspiracy videos when they use a lot of quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. Like this one is Fresno quotation alien, a.k.a. quotation nightcrawler footage. Second figure yard crossing with quotation cape close up analysis dot 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 dot. You be the judge. It is really fucking weird looking. I'm looking at it now. I would be actually scared if I saw this on my security camera. It honestly, and I know I love to take the conspiracy theorist route these days, but I don't know how you would fake that. Oh, you know what it almost looks like? Oh my God, wait, um, did I just come up with a brand new theory? It looks like two deer fighting. Okay, that was like one of the, the last theories I saw, like deer standing up. Yeah, it looks like the two deer is like on their hind legs fighting each other off to the side of this frame. Okay. Or like dogs even. Probably wouldn't be dogs though. But deer, because deer are tall and skinny. Hmm. For the record, we're talking about real fuzzy footage. And it's, and it's uh, you know, night vision footage. So it's like all inverted. It's weird though, because like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the, maybe that's, that's the one. That's all I can see if it isn't just a pair of pants walking around. Look up the uh, Native American nightcrawler totem. Whoa, dude. Is this real? Yes. Well, that's interesting. So, I don't know. Is that it deer? That looks just like it. That looks yeah. just like it. And those are old. Those came way, way before, yeah. Are we sure? Oh, yeah. You're saying that so confidently. How do we know this? these are old? Look at it. Yeah, Ooh. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, just you want this. don't you see the dirt? The dirt? Yeah, it's made of old wood. It is. No, it's from like Native American legends. That's what I told you. Were you listening? Yeah, motherfucker, I was listening. I just, <laughs> I doubt ever, I doubt everything now. You know, <laughs> this was like a hard one to research, though, to be honest, because there's like not a ton of information on it, other than like it's a walking pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But yeah, that's what I got. Those are the Fresno night crawlers for your enjoyment. So I guess the Yakama have a similar story to this, and they're called Stick Indians. The Yakama Indians of the east slope of Cascade Mountains in Washington State have a legend persisting to this day of the stick people, or little ones, that live high in the hills. Some hills are sacred places for the stick people and should not be traveled. If they are visited, the stick people will do you harm. Also, the stick people do a lot of unprovoked mischief, such as stealing your car keys, which apparently was a story that a doctor, a wildlife ecologist told now this might not totally be the same thing because this is more that they hide under the sticks mm. yeah anyways very strange yeah i'll include some uh links yeah the stick indian is kind of interesting though i, w I wouldn't mind doing a mini on that sometime that sounds like it's a lot like sasquatch evil though yeah they just fuck with you yeah hurt you well yeah so this was an uh a, i think a truly mini episode uh, the first one we had in a while because like typically our mini episodes run like an hour <laughs> yeah so a little bite-sized something for you which i think is probably a good little appetizer yeah i agree if you like this listen to our other stuff and if you've already listened to our other stuff i hope you enjoyed having us in your ear holes again if you did like this, and if you have a story of your own that you would like to recommend, you can always email us at according to an idiot at gmail.com. You can also keep up to date on all of our episodes and things going on by following us at Idiots Accord on Twitter or at According to an Idiot on Instagram and Facebook. You can also find us on Patreon to get ad-free listening. We don't really have ads right now, but we might at some point again. <laughs> uh, you also get early releases and an exclusive series on creepy pastas as well for your little ear holes. You can also vote on our next topics, give your own suggestions, and meet other cool people and help support the show. Yeah. If you want to help other people find us, that helps a lot. You can rate us on iTunes and Spotify at, you guessed it, According to an idiot. <laughs> Definitely check out our Patreon. Help support the show. And you also do get some exclusive content. We have a little library building up. And I'm also we're also putting some of our early episodes up there mm -hmm. as well. Some episodes that I've picked out that I think maybe don't totally fit the current aesthetic of the show that are from our really early days. I'm going to put those behind Patreon. Mm -hmm. So you'll have access to those as well. Because I don't really want people who haven't listened to us 
to yeah, start to at the very beginning because we don't, you know, we're not at our best. I agree. So me and Jeremy started writing a pilot too for oh, yeah. a, a TV show <laughs> sitcom based off the Montauk Project. So once we have that written, maybe we'll we'll pop that on Patreon too. Oh, we totally should. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Put a pilot script or something or a rough draft. Yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun. That'd be fun. So y'all can read that and give uh, little notes if you would like to. Well, okay, guys. Thank you for listening. Watch out for walking pants in the dark. (laughs) And I will see you in time. Bye.